we are just going to talk about this girl. Clip, body, clip, got it. Job, on it. Did I ever ask you to take me to go shopping in Paris or go sailing overseas and just dress? Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to a get to know me video. The reason why I hadn't done it before or when I started my YouTube channel is because I was in a process of getting to know myself. I was in a very dark space i was just there was a lot happening you know and i just wanted something to keep me busy keep me going keep me sane and i was like let me do this youtube channel even though that i uh, had videos previously that i took and i thought i'm ready for this but the fear the fear got me on chocolate and i just didn't want i had the anxiety of just putting up j the videos on this channel but one day i was like let me do this and i wasn't in a, i wasn't in a good space if you can go and look at that very very first video i had my hair cut you know after a haircut and they say when a woman cuts her hair blah 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 i was going through that and she said change me now guys to be honest whenever you see me with the uh, whenever you see me with a haircut if i cut my hair you must know i'm going through the most 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 that i that I can't even handle because I feel like this hair is holding me back. Let me just take it off and maybe I'm gonna think, you know, properly. Maybe it's clogging my mind and I can't just think straight. So without dwelling into that, I just want you to know who I am, you know? 250 of y'all, boo, 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 boo. Thank you so much, guys. Ah! Guys, we can fill up a hole. 250 people. Thank you, thank you so much. And, and thank you for the support, the engagement. I had a few new subscribers who have YouTube channels. And one day when I get some time, I'll just go through the YouTubers and then maybe people who don't know them can go and check their channels. And then we can, you know, just have that trading type of uh, uh, following a subscribing society or whatever that might be but just so that we know the other fellow youtubers the upcoming ones like myself and yeah it, it, I, I don't remember all their names but i think there was garabo there was sino there was uh, El Emi, there was those few youtubers that followed me and i followed them back and i like that you know i like that so much Okay, without blabbing too much, let's get into the video. Guys, my name is Itumeleng Rasial. Birth certificate, ID, Itumeleng Rasial. At work, at school, that's who I am. And that's um, Betty. So, I am Betty biologically. <laughs> that's me. And... I, on social media, on my all social media platforms, I am Itu Makatini. Don't think that Makatini's surname I just took because lunch bar or what, what? It's my mom's surname. So, from her maternal side. So, it's my maternal um, surname. And the paternal is Rasiala. My mom got married to Rasiala family. And I live and I grew up with the Makatini family all my rituals and customs and culture and everything that I know, I know from the Makatini family. And that's why I am Idu Makatini. I'm embracing the people that brought me up, the people that made me who I am today. So that's why I am Idu Makatini. So um, uh, a few of my friends maybe that I went to school with when they see me now on social media, like Idu Makatini, Girl, are you married? I'm like, <laughs> no ways, I'm not. It's my mom's surname, so I just chose to use it, you know. And in the house, everybody that I live with is using Uma Katini. Um, so I was like, they may be my Katini somewhere <laughs> because I live by the Makatinis, you know. I live with the Makatinis. I am a Makatini. And if you have noticed, I speak Zulu very well zulu 
um i love zulu i enjoy zulu and i know most of the things that uh, zulus do i yeah i i grew up in zulu i'm a zulu the very part i can't speak the language i partially understand I'm, I'm willing to learn, but there's no one that constantly speaks Bedi with me. When people um, speak to me, most of the time they speak Zulu or English. So um, growing up, I didn't get that chance to speak Bedi. Even with my father, my father would speak English. And the reason why is because at nursery school, they said um, at home, they should help us to speak um, English so that we don't struggle when we were with other kids. Yo guys, sorry for the noise if you can hear it. I mean so weird to it it will never be like dead quiet. There's people plus it's weekend. Um what I can do. Maybe let me close the window. I hope it's better now. I'm a mom guys. I'm a mom of one. I got my child when I was 30, turning 31, and ever since my life changed my life changed. It changed for the better, it changed for the worst. The better is I'm a mom, I'm grateful, I'm raising someone, I can see uh, me in her, <laughs> if you understand what I'm saying. I, I go through all emotions in one day with her, the love, the hate, not like hating her, but the frustration, the anger, trying to understand um her trying to understand her needs trying to not have a mom guilt you know to say what if i'm doing this and it's affecting her in the long run you know i want to raise the best child and i want her childhood to be the best and not affect her adulthood you know and that is a bit of a challenge for me as a first-time mom. I think all first-time moms go through that. Maybe we should also have a vlog for that, for first-time moms. I mean, a sit-down for first-time moms, just to understand how they navigate through that and having mom guilt and um, forgetting about themselves and concentrating on the child and losing themselves. That, that's that's what I was going through. That's why I didn't do a get to know me video because I was losing myself. And the biggest mistake when you lose yourself and you're trying to find yourself, you want to find the person before you became a mom, but now it's not gonna be the same. You need to adjust that you are a mom and how can you embrace being a mom and being yourself at the same time. You cannot go back if, um, there were things that you used to do that did not include somebody. You cannot go back and say you want to be that person. Be now that you have somebody, it needs to align. You need to align with you having a child and your lifestyle and who you are, not who you were. And yeah, let's not um, get too much into that, but we'll have a sit down for that. Okay. And um, I am turning. 35. <laughs> 35 and I cannot believe it, but it's true. I'm turning 35 and in that process, I'm learning a lot of things to be selfish, to think for myself, to say, girl, you are on your own now. It's time for you to pack up those bags that you have of comfort and challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. You cannot now be too comfortable. You, you are growing finer. You need to then work on yourself, improve yourself, and picture yourself in the next five years' time. Where do you want to see yourself? So that's me currently turning 35. <laughs> and I'm a 9 to 5 -er. Really not passionate about what I'm doing. That's why I won't disclose what I do. I'm still fighting so hard to be where I, where I want to be. And I won't give up. Even though when you apply, they like saying 18 to 35. And I'm like, ooh, time is not on my side. But you know, with God's grace, I know everything is possible. So yeah, I'm a 9 to 5 -er. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> yes. 
that's me i'm a content creator like i've always been but it was outside social media you know so yeah that's me and then i am a student i am a become honors student i i hope and i pray this is my last year and i'll do good i graduated in 2020 sadly i did not have the graduation ceremony due to COVID, but blessing upon blessings i became a mom so i had a degree and i had a baby <laughs> I also developed a spirit of understanding that my things don't happen um, publicly. They all happen privately and I I had to deal with that with you guys. Everybody wants to walk on that stage and say, you know, Sana Marena, but I didn't get that opportunity. And um, I had a baby shower. It was nice. It was a drive through one, but I would have wished, you know, that it became like an event one or da, da. god made me understand some of the things in 2020 you know and i really really appreciate everything that happened then and yeah okay i had so many side hustles guys i started from making wigs selling them selling bags yo <laughs> and then um what else Okay, I started um, two stock files. I, I no longer do those things. And then I did a Yaga sale last year. Yo, oh, it was tedious. Yeah. Like the process. Yo, 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 yo. Mama. I'll call you. Let me do this and finish. Mama, can we do it together? I'm going to call you and then we're going to do it together. Yay. Mama. And I had, um, it's called Asimasi Sweets. I'd sell sweets. If you can go through my Instagram, you'll see where I was selling sweets. And that was generating such a good income. Um, we did it at a farmer's market that was in Cradle Stone. But I think it's closed. That's why I no longer do it. But if it can be open again and they invite me, I'd go. Sorry. At Paul, I tried to apply at farmers market, but there was no response. And I was like, yo, following up, or oh, maybe they already have people that sell such sweets. It was the gummy sweets and all types in tubs that I started when I was um, working at a previous employer and they would buy. It was, it was a good say, so like they would buy guys, they would buy. Mama, I want to stay with you. Okay. So I'll learn again. But Okay, mommy. Okay. So, guys, I, I, I've, I've tried a lot of things. Hey, if there's some cuts in between, please forgive me. My daughter has been coming. And, you know, <laughs> if you're a YouTuber and you have a child, you understand. And, um, yeah. Guys, I, 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 I don't want to say I'm a dep um, depression patient i'm not i suffered from depression to 2005 even prior but i was diagnosed in 2005 and i went through the treatment and i went through the treatment um and then i decided no ways i can't live on pills and then i stopped them and i started praying for myself whenever i would feel so so anxious and feeling like the panic attack is about to come I'd tell somebody or I'd speak to myself and just calm myself down. And ever since, that's what I've been doing. Uh, mental health, guys, is a journey. You don't just say, um, by uh, June, I would have been healed and I'm going to be fine. No, it's a journey. Sometimes you relapse. Sometimes you are okay. Sometimes you can control it. And sometimes you just want to give up from that but i'm not saying um if you are on medication you should leave it no but i decided i cannot live on live on that because now when i whenever i felt so sad i would take those pills and i'll feel better but i have um that didn't help me because i didn't deal with what made me sad well, now when they weigh out of my body i start being sad again and then that's when the addiction kicks in so i decided no 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 i can't 
I'm not gonna live on pills. So I am that I am on my mental health journey, which does not have an ending. It's an ongoing process for me. I once asked people if do, is it curable people were like it's manageable and i also believe that it is a process yeah guys that's all about me it's not a very long one i'm not a complicated person but i think as time goes by i'm gonna put it on my insta i'm gonna put a poll on my instagram people to ask me questions what they would like to know about me or you can comment down below and just tell me what you would like to know about me and maybe i'll have another video when we reach five hundred subscribers just to have an update on who i am and what is it that i improved on and what is it that i decided Mukeli. <laughs> oh. yo guys no I, I i think that's it you can tell Musa. somebody at the back is clapping for her mom <laughs> um yeah guys uh, guys that was a glimpse of hey, don't clap <laughs> guys that was a glimpse of who i am i couldn't finish because there's somebody that's busy clapping here and she's back so thank you thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed need to know more comment down below wait to see if you want to know more, need to know more, just comment down below and I will show to engage. I'll show to engage with you guys and, and don't we'll have to our subscribe my mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you on my next uh vlog guys. Yo. Guys, I'll see you on my next video. Mama. Clearly we can't finish here. Yeah? Okay, I'll make you food just now. Clearly, guys, we cannot finish, but I hope you enjoyed. Mm. Bye. Subscribe, my 